Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a functionality pro video for mainboard for 34 inch LG monitor uh, that came to us with two broken Thunderbolt ports and we restored it the best that we could. One of them was broken beyond repair, we just don't have the connector. Uh, so we spoke to the customer, they said that only one display port would be fine for them. Uh, but and, and then we sent the board and the customer said that the board never actually worked on their end. Uh, it, work, it works right out of the box as we send it on our end. Uh, so we're talking with them and uh, deciding what to do and as part of the process we are showing that video. This is not something that can be easily confused. This is how a customer will know the board is theirs. It is not easy really to put uh, one of the ports out and the other one present. Uh, what else could be unique on the board so that when they get it back for a second time they can see that it's theirs. I guess this uh, silicone around the heatsink is fairly unique. This is how they will know this is in the, their board. Um, it is currently being fed through the HDMI and not the display port because the only display port source that we have at the moment that will work with those is this Mac, which I'm unsuccessful opening. Yet finally, oops, sorry. Here it is. And um, this Mac needs to be serviced. We need to replace the screen on that one before we can use it. Um, we tried connecting. I think it was here. Yeah. This is a Thunderbolt. Oddly enough, um, even though this is a Thunderbolt, it does not work directly on this input. It just doesn't produce anything. It doesn't produce anything on other monitors that uh, we have tried. It does work when we connect display ports. If we connect that out, that output from this from the Mac to a display port like to here, it's going to show. Uh, except not for these boards. We haven't tried it. We have a different one. One of the 32 inches. Anyhow, uh, this was meant to be a functionality proof. This is the board, and this is what we have on the screen. I'm gonna turn it off with the menu, press, and turn down. That is off. And this is the thing. It is being shielded uh, with this back from the original board that is staying there. We just use this for testing. But this is what goes to here. You can see when I'm pulling it, how it goes there. So I'm pressing and it's gonna light up. And when it lights up, this is what happens. This is our media player there starting up because it just received five volts from the USB. And that's it, and just play some video. Absolutely nothing that we have done on our end to make this work. I'm wiggling this. I can see the light coming from I'm wiggling the power to see whether it could have been power thing. It doesn't appear It's stable. So I'm pressing again down And off and the backlight went off. It's ready. That's as much as I can show uh, as far as we can tell the board is working again Cannot guarantee that this is working, but do not see a reason why not. We spend a good time ensuring that the connection is fine. Uh, parts on the back, everything should be fine. So, this is as much as we can do. Thanks.